What minor rubber really does better than most of our competitors are our molded corners. In fact, if you look at this part, you can hardly see the parting line. That's how good a job we do. It's something that not every rubber company wants to do that, that extrudes rubber, but it's something that we specialize in and take a great deal of pride in. Yeah, you can do it. You can do a molded corner, you can do an injection molded corner, or you can do a butt splice. They're all done under heat and pressure. Many of our competitors use glue. The way we do it, we do it under heat and pressure, which gives you a much better bond. We use a cold bond, it's more apt to fail. Now it's cheaper and it's easier to do because you don't need the equipment that we have, but this is the right way to do it. Yeah, as far as we're concerned, glue won't do. You've got to do it in a vulcanized process. Here's an example of a, of a gasket that we've made with a splice corner. Uh, it's got a 90 degree angle here and probably got a 60 degree angle here. And uh, we can do cross sections up to maybe two and a half, three inches by four or five inches. And also inexpensive. Tooling for this, you have the extrusion die and you have the molds for the molded corners. You, your tooling is well under $1,000. A lot of places don't offer all the capabilities that we have for uh, putting corners on, on extruded parts. Here's a, an example of a butt splice gasket, which is just like an, used as an O-ring. Uh, we can do these where they're solid, or we can do them with a butt splice if they have a hollow ID. The advantage of a, of a butt splice is that it, it stands up, it won't fall apart. Here's something that we're doing right now for uh, our tra transportation account, where we extrude the, uh, the gasket, we buy the sensors, and then we insert the sensor and deliver it as, a, as a, an assembly to the customer. I'm going to show you one part here because it's um, easy to see because we did it with two different color silicones. So here we have an extrusion, same profile here, same profile here. We place this in a mold, we inject the molded corner to, uh, to bring the two together and this will never come apart. This part we could only do in say six foot lengths and cure it conventionally or the ovens aren't deep enough. So what we do is take two long lengths and then butt them together to form an even longer length. And, and so you have a splice here that is almost equal to the strength of the product itself. We always say, let all your rubber problems be minor problems.